Good morning, everybody. Well, not good morning because it's kind of middle of the day. Hello, everybody, Hello. and welcome back to another day of van life in Iceland. We have just woken up today to the most gorgeous view of the mountains in Thingvellir National Park. We have this like whole area of the campsite that we're in basically to ourselves with the mountain views on the side and it is just so beautiful. So it's literally just us and then just one us. camper far, far, far in the distance. Plus it's super clear sky so we can yes. see the, all the mountains today. And last night, the most epic thing happened in the middle of the night. We were just sitting here just watching some YouTube and all of a sudden in the front window of the van we just literally see the northern lights dancing away and and instantly like we're like ah oh, freaked out and just it was beautiful I'll just roll that clip of our reaction <laughs> so we are just sitting down out of nowhere at our campsite the lights just showed up and we have like a whole show let's show you guys <gasps> they're all over <laughs> Ruby, isn't that so cool? Yeah. You got to complete that up your Iceland bucket list. <laughs> See, that's them. Wow. One of the cool things to do here is snorkel or scuba dive between the two tectonic plates that mm -hmm. Iceland is on. I'll be doing the snorkeling part today because mm -hmm. you need to be patty certified to do the scuba part and yes. I am not, unfortunately. Super, super cold. So they uh, they warn you to wear like extremely warm clothes and then wool socks, so. Right now we are cooking up some food because Tim does need to go there with a full belly. We are making some so we got a couple of things from the grocery store some pizza sauce pizza bread and then cheese that's what we're gonna be cooking up all right we need some utensils Ruby I got my little sous chef to help out in the kitchen surprisingly the weather is very beautiful today also oh. do you like our new Iceland shirts <laughs> we had to get fitted for the part okay first step assembly look how cute they are they're like little personal pizzas mmm smells saucy <laughs> There you go, sprinkle all around. Good job. <laughs> She's in the zone. No time for games, just mm. in the zone. Oh, she added some pizzazz on that one. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, 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 <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> of course, this one is going to be cooked in a pan, our specialty. <laughs> if you've seen our mushroom house video in Chiang Mai. Mm -hmm. It didn't work really well. Is it good, Ruby? Yeah, it's really good. You did a good job, Chef Ruby? Yeah. You made your own pizza. I made it a lot of times now. I made it at the Kitsania. Ta -ta -ta! Pizza number two. Also, it is so hot in here that we have the door open. It's two degrees outside, <laughs> but it does not feel like that in here. RV life. <laughs> you did a good job, Chef Ruby. Well, I didn't do anything, I just made the piece of my own. The Sifla Fisher is located between two tectonic plates, the North American and the Eurasian, which is extremely unique. There, you will find the cleanest water in the entire world because it comes straight from a glacier. It is so clean that you can drink directly from it. Visibility in the fissure is actually crazy because you can see 100 meters straight down or around 328 feet. The water is 2 degrees Celsius or around 35 degrees Fahrenheit all year round, which means that in order to scuba or snorkel here, you have to wear special gear just to get inside of the freezing cold waters. This was easily the coldest water that I have ever been in. I felt every single chill go through my body. But it was one of the coolest things that I have ever done in the water for sure. You could see so much all around you and the views that were going deep down were extremely cool. But I was enjoying them a little too much because I was not paying any attention to where I was going. And then disaster struck. <sighs> While Timmy is somewhere freezing very cold, snorkeling, we are enjoying the view from the parking lot, which is actually pretty cute. There's like a whole lake and it just looks like a mirror. And we got some snacks, our little random charcuterie board. And we're just enjoying the view. <laughs> Isn't this nice? Yes. 
We got like a mommy and me day. Yeah, and then we have a really cool view of the mountain. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I finished up the snorkeling in between the two tectonic plates. It was a cool experience. The water was freezing cold. Towards the end, there was a like a bunch of big rocks and I was trying to figure out my phone. It was really hard to change like the settings underwater with like the, uh, the big gloves on and stuff. And I looked up and then it was a rock. Someone put a rock right in front of my face as I was going forward and I had butted the rock. And I broke half of my tooth off. My front tooth is completely broken off. Well, halfway. That's probably all you're gonna see because I'm just irritated and embarrassed. We actually have travel insurance, so as long as we get it fixed within 24 hours, they'll cover up to $1,000 or something. So we scheduled a dentist appointment for tomorrow morning. We just have to drive 43 minutes back to Reykjavik. It only puts us back about two hours, so it's not that bad, but it's just irritating right now. So me and Ruby, I don't know what she's doing besides embarrassing me. I'm vlogging. That's even more embarrassing. <laughs> So me and Ruby are gonna give you a little tour of our campground here, Thingvellir National Park. It is actually a UNESCO World Heritage Site. There are three national parks here in Iceland, and this is the only one that is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. They have a really nice campground here, paid 3,500 isk, which is like 20, 25 bucks, 25 US bucks for the uh, night here. So showers are over here. Um, this much facing. Make sure that it's like, yeah, this is the heavy door. Okay, this is a nice shower. Nice. It's just a little hallway. On the side here, you have a bathroom. And we have some snow. Woo! They also have this uh, visitor center here. They also have a barbecue here. Oh. It's a little sitting area. But they have some delicious snacks too at that place. They got muffins and donuts, and then donuts and donuts and muffins. And as you can see, we got some stuff. Yeah, we got a few snacks. The scenery is extremely amazing here. It's probably the coolest campground that we've ever stayed at for sure. But now we're gonna head back. So today we are leaving our campsite, our Thingvellir campsite with the epic views and making a dash all the way down back to Reykjavik because we need to get somebody's tooth fixed. Yeah, that would be me. It's not really that far. It's only 45 minutes away. But the thing was, we were doing the golden circle. So we were supposed to be heading like almost an hour away the other way. So it basically doubled our time. But it's okay. It's not a problem. We, thankfully, we were able to find a dentist, like an emergency dentist that was willing to help us fix the situation. We just have to get there. Um, so that's what we're doing now. I want my toothpicks, Joe. <laughs> He's been grumpy all day yesterday and feeling super embarrassed about the whole thing. So we need to get that fixed so he can move on with his life. <laughs> <laughs> So there was a slight misunderstanding. We thought she said 12.30 p.m. The lady actually said 3.30 p.m. So we're just gonna go find a cafe to hang out in for a couple of hours until it's the appointment time. We came to this uh, cafe, it's called the Laundromat Cafe. They actually have a laundromat here. It's not just in the name. But we got um, some food while we uploaded a video. I got the veggie burger and some fries. And then Ruby got kids menu. Salmon. This is a perfect size for her. Is it good? Uh -huh. I got the veggie burger as well. And this place is so cute. It's literally got pictures of laundromats all from all over the world, I think, right? Or from maybe Iceland, I don't know. But it's got pictures of laundromats all over the walls, just framed up, and it's so cute. It has really good Wi-Fi, so we are uploading a vlog right now. <laughs> So they got this cool little 
play area down here too for kids. It has these little nap areas, a bunch of toys. Natural. So you're having fun, Ruby? Yes. Yeah. Two hours later. Okay, back at the dentist's office to get this tooth finally fixed. It typically costs about like 500 US dollars to fix a chipped tooth back home. So let's see how much this one costs. Hopefully, not too much. How are you feeling? I'm gonna throw it. <laughs> Tim's worst nightmare is coming to the dentist. I hate this place. <laughs> Ruby's enjoying herself though. So serious. <laughs> All right, y'all. He's fixed. All good again. <laughs> He's got two front teeth. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he wanted for Christmas, but it came early. Tell him how much it was. It was 32,000 krona, which is like $222 for basically a new tooth is a good deal for me. Yes, it's actually cheaper than the US. I was surprised. So it's the next day and all of our issues have been taken care of. So we are going to hit the road. We actually ended up staying in the Reykjavik campsite last night because it was getting to be late and it was it would have been an hour and a half drive north and you're not supposed to drive at night and the sun sets around like 6 p.m. so we just didn't want to risk driving at night so we just ended up staying in Reykjavik um, apparently like you can run into like sheep sleeping and cows. on cows sheep and cows sleeping on the road yeah they sleep on the road because the worm the road is warm mm -hmm. We don't want to run over any sheep or cows. Yeah, it's super dangerous to do that. So we were not going to do that. Just kept it safe and stayed in Reykjavik. And it was no big deal at all. Now we are going to head an hour and a half north, right? Yeah, northeast. Northeast to? Stroker. It's the geyser. Now this geyser is super duper cool because it is the original geyser. First stop, gas station to fuel up because we don't know when we'll see another one. This old lease one, because we're renting our camper van with indie campers, we actually get 10% off of these old lease <laughs> gas stations. So that's a bonus. So it's called? What? Old Is it Alice? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever even seen the name. Make sure you do diesel. Please always make sure you do diesel because if you don't do diesel, they you'll have to call the company and they have to come out here with a tow truck or something and they have to empty out the whole fuel and you'll have to pay them for coming to do that and you have to pay more for the fuel, which it's not cheap. Nothing I think. is cheap here. Yeah. Hold on time. For snack, we found this lava cheese with chili. Cheese crisps, zero carbs, and they're handmade in Iceland. So, you wanna try it, Ruby? Yeah. This is what they look like. Look like a cheese cracker. Crunchy? Crunchy. It's is so it cheesy. Spicy? No. It's very cheesy. Mm. Very cheesy. <laughs> yeah, very cheesy. Ice cracker. That's delicious. Maybe. It literally tastes like the burnt edges on pizza. Yeah, if you make it like that, just like a dehydrated cheese. cheese. <laughs> yeah, dehydrated cheese. <laughs> what do you think, Ruby? It's really good. Yeah, you like it? Not so, too spicy for you? So Perfect. Now let's enjoy these beautiful Icelandic views. I could literally just drive here to drive. Like that's an activity on its own. Like looking at these beautiful mountains and the horse on the side of the street sometimes and the hills and the fields and it's just so so special so we made it to the thing valier campsite again and we decided just to pull over and do lunch and i just absolutely love the convenience of van life how you can just pull over and make your meals and go to the bathroom and it's just such a slower paced type of travel it's really convenient too, uh -huh. especially because I have to pee every five minutes. Yes, he does. <laughs> Worse than the child. I also have to eat every five minutes. <laughs> what we've got here is just some vegan chicken and some cheese. And we've got some veggies, sun-dried tomatoes, and we're just making sandwiches. Not me. Right, Ruby's eating leftover pasta. Mm -hmm. I also found uh, the donuts. These are uh, 
Kleiner donuts. Uh -huh. The famous Iceland donuts. So we're going to try those out too. Yeah, we tried to find those when we did our food tour and we didn't, but turns out they just sell them in the grocery stores. Yeah, right. Alright, let's try them out right now. What? You don't want to wait until after? Dessert comes first. Mm -mm. It's a shelled family yeah. tradition. No, it's not. Yeah! No! I'm having one. <laughs> two, two verse one. So uh, they're called Kleiners. They're Icelandic donuts. Just a little piece of it. They look like croissants. It looks like just bread. Mm. Yeah, it looks like a donut-y croissant or bread. something. It's bread. It's bread? Yeah. <laughs> it literally tastes like a, like a dessert bread, I guess. Maybe if you heat them up first. I feel like um, we're eating them wrong. Or yeah, you dip they it in tea or, or jam or something. Yeah. Ready. We got 47 minutes left. Ready. <laughs> You're so much. Okay guys, we have just made it to the geyser center where the great geyser is. Um, so now let's just go see if we have to buy tickets for entering and go see a geyser. So that was just like a shopping center. You don't need to go in there to go to the geyser, I believe. I think you just walk up and it's free. We're gonna find out. <laughs> yeah, so we're back outside and we see steam. So that's a good sign. This is so cool. I can't oh, believe we're here. Like fresh farts too. That's another good sign. I don't smell it. So apparently a geyser is like a really, really hot, hot spring. Ruby knows what a geyser is apparently. Let's hear her definition of a geyser. So a geyser is just um, water shooting out of this little tiny hole. It just shoots out of it and it's really hot water. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's a really good description of it. We're going in the steam. It's like a water volcano. It says Old Faithful erupts every 30 to 100 minutes. This one erupts every 8 to 10. That water over there is boiling hot. Oh, you can smell the sulfur now. Yeah. Do you smell that? Oh, yeah, River's running into the mist. We don't know what's back there. Come back. No, keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the colors. You can Colors. see all the colors right here. 80 to 100 degrees Celsius. That's Celsius, you guys. That's a high temperature. Oh, I wonder if this is like a facial. It'll be like a facial. The steam is creating like a facial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be. <laughs> Y'all, this is the Litley geyser. It's very tiny. It doesn't look at it. It's so cool, though. Here it is. Stroker. I think that's how you pronounce it, right? Yeah, it's cool. It's right there, you guys. Everybody's gathered around waiting for it to explode or erupt. This is so cool. The anticipation. Okay guys, so this one is the geyser, the original geyser that gave the name to all the other geysers in the world. This is it. Stroker was the biggest one. Now we're off to our next campground, which is called Camping Geyser. And it's literally right, right next to the actual geyser, which is pretty cool. Most of these hot spots here in Iceland have camping right next to them, to them which is really, really cool and convenient. It has a little park! It has a little park? Yeah! 
Ah, oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Ruby's fun at the park. So this campground is super cute. Nobody's here, so we just you just pay when they um, open back up in the morning because it's after hours. But nobody else is here. Look, this is the whole campground, and it's completely empty, and it's got electrical. Um, Timmy's gonna move because we're way back there, and then there's a playground right here, which Ruby's already enjoying. So. There's a plug right there, so we're just gonna plug in right there so can, Ruby can play as, as much as she wants. Look how cute this playground is. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Woo! There you go! <laughs> 